One of Lebanon Airport's most visible commercial tenants is Vanderbilt Life Flight Air Medevac. Life Flight One, based in Lebanon, has been operating since June of 2004. I'm Wilson Matthews. I'm the chief flight nurse for Life Flight One, the, the life flight that's based at the Lebanon Airport. I've been here for about 17 years with Life Flight, and we've been out at the airport in Lebanon for probably just under 10 years now. Well, I grew up with a firefighter paramedic father in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and growing up around that was always kind of around emergency services and they would call in the, uh, the life flight out of the hospitals in Pittsburgh and it, it always it always interested me and as a young boy I couldn't decide whether I wanted to be an astronaut or a doctor so I kind of shot right down the middle and ended up a flight nurse. The, the strategy around uh, us having a base in Lebanon is uh, we, we've actually got aircraft in quadrants around Nashville uh, and that's the, the primary strategy is to get to the patient quicker. The helicopters, provided by Air Methods Corporation, are strategically located at five surrounding airports in the greater Nashville area in Middle Tennessee. Life Flight's job is to do what's best for the patient and to do it safely. So we don't really get hung up on challenges or last minute changes because we have to keep moving. Everything we do is on a clock. Everything we do is time sensitive. So I have a hard time trying to find something that causes a stumbling block because our job is to move forward with whatever's put in front of us. So even in the, even in the face of changing situations, whether it's clinical situations for the nurses and paramedics or it's aviation situations for the pilots, people are counting on us. So we just roll through those challenges, we make decisions, we make changes in our plan because our job is to get to the patient, give them the care they need, and get them where they need to go safely. Dispatches, they never tell us uh, if it's a child, adult, whatever, until we tell them the weather's sufficient for us to go. They do not want that to make the decision for you, but if it's an infant, you're probably more apt to say, well, the weather's kind of marginal, I'll go anyway. We don't get that until we tell them we can accept the flight and we're, we're going. I would say most of the challenges don't come on the typical mission. We know what we're doing, we're trained to know what we're doing, the pilots are, are trained well, so the challenges aren't actually on the flights with the patient care because we're all really good at doing that. We never know what we're going to see, whether it be a needle nail, you know, a newborn that, that has a fever and a decreased level of consciousness, or it could be an elderly person, or it could be an eight-year-old that was hit on a bike. So um, we treat a, a wide variety. It's, it's just like working in the emergency department. Part of operating an airport is ensuring that first responders are ready to handle any aviation emergency situation, both on and off the airport. Lebanon is an ideal location for fire and rescue personnel to practice aviation-related scenarios. The airport has been host to special training activities under the guidance of airport fire and rescue specialists who work closely with local and neighboring agencies to educate responders about the unique aspects of working around aviation. Accidents are very rare, but being prepared with highly trained firefighters can often make the difference in the outcome. But this is just a simulation, made to be realistic in order to understand the special challenges associated with aircraft. Engine failure 
years of crashes occur off the end of the airport within a mile, probably a mile and a half of the airport. What you guys need to be aware of is the runway directions on this airport. Four or five of us in the terminal building at one time. Life flight has the highest occupancy on the field. Much was learned today. It's been a success, and those watching with a careful eye are pleased with the performance. Airports keep a watchful eye on developing weather. They must continually be evaluating changing conditions and be prepared to take action to protect assets on the field. The fixed wing group of Vanderbilt Life Flight has stopped in to Lebanon to avoid an approaching thunderstorm during routine training. Sometimes, the storm hits a little faster than anticipated. has passed. Planes depart and operations resume at the airport. <laughs>